Hi everyone, welcome back. We're here at episode 10. It ended with Pat's family catching Pran coming out of his room. I really want to know about the parents. It's clear this is going to be a parent episode at points. And of course we know Pran's mother and Pat's father really have an issue. I don't know what Pat's father did to Pran's mother, but she did kind of imply when Pat came to bring over the documents that her his father had done something to her. So I don't know, because we could go through it, many theories. And with this show, you never truly know, because I think they like to switch it up and shock you about what actually transpired between them. And what does this now mean for Pat and Pran? Because they've been so happy and their friends seem to have come around to the idea of them being together. And they just, you know, they're young, they just want to enjoy this romance and each other and be in a safe space. But we don't know what will truly happen because last time Pram was taken away. And that's something you can tell that's always in the back of his mind. He's also quite a private person, so he wouldn't want everyone knowing his and Pat's private lives. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Before we get into the the dun 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 moment from last episode, I'm hoping with where they're going with Ink Paul, maybe this episode. I don't know, maybe they'll start dating or they'll confess liking one another. And they've given hints about why and corn, but they've never truly showed anything else but maybe a look here and there, a word. So we'll see where they go with them as well. I can tell this episode's going to be dramatic. I mean, how was he to know? They hadn't been there until just now. Pran let his guard down, though. Here goes the father stance, hands behind the back. <laughs> Where are you going to go? You can't go back. Yeah, I think Dad's gonna ask this. Yeah, he came out smiling. See, and he's been honest, really. He's not lying. Oh, he helps him in other ways too. Yeah, correct. No, but she's she's right to say this. He feels a bit embarrassed now, the dad. I mean, he didn't lie. He just didn't tell him the whole truth. <laughs> they do actually have a really close-knit family relationship. I was really expecting a little bit more conflict with the dad and Pram, but instead they just glossed that over. Is he going to thank him now that he sees him? I, he, he can literally say I just wanted to say thank you for helping me. <sighs> yeah, he, you could just say I'm saying thank you. It's true. But they're stuck, they're, the parents are stuck in their ways. Good on you for... She's kind of calling him out, but in a soft way. And Pa in the back, smiling. Oh look, the hands look... Hand on the hip moment. Yeah, be an adult, say thank you. It's so strange how they're so shocked and it's instilled in them how much they're supposed to dislike the next door neighbours. 
เรื่องเนี้ยอาจจะมีบ้านเราสองบ้านเลิกตีกันไปเลยก็ได้ you see that มึงถ้าเรื่องแค่เนี้ยนะทําให้บ้านมึงกับบ้านกูเดินแต่กูจะทำเป็น long time ไปเลยมึงก็รู้ว่าบ้านว่าบ้านมึงอ่ะมาแย่งลูกน้องบ้านกูส่วนบ้านกูก็ไปโกงเงินบ้านมึงใช่ไหมกูรู้ I feel like that's not the truth d o u e this is just what you were told แต่กูว่าเขาคงลืมๆกันไปหมดแล้วแหละมั้งมึงดูว่าเอางี้ดิมึงลองหาเรื่องให้กูไปช่วยมึงบ้างไหมเดี๋ยวปั๊มเยอะใจอ่อนอ่ะยกลูกชายให้กูไง Yeah it's the mother you've got to be worried about เขาบ้านเป็นแบบนี้ฮะ Pat just can't help himself. He just has to touch p r a m เยี่ยมดิไงพัดเออปานพอดีแม่ให้มาตามไปกินข้าวอ่ะขอมครับเฮียอ๋อ he knows what's going on he saw that they were flirting also the way Pat smiled is very clear Pat's in love Like he can't hide it. I like how nervous he is because obviously this is not his faculty. And everyone's staring at him, so something's up because everyone keeps looking at him. Hey, you just look at the phone, please. We'll see. I can't see him being this aggressive to him after what happened. Yeah, see. They're planning something. There's just no way why I would speak to him like this after everything in this moment. Yeah, see. You? Well, I think everyone, everyone knows what's going on here. See, yeah, the whole faculty already knows. See. So Pran had this plan. He's so sneaky. <laughs> Look at him. What have you been smoking? I'm hot, huh? Me too, Pi Song. Ah, you guys. He likes me. He's a problem. Okay, Mr. Tough Man. I know it's an act, but come on, let's play. <laughs> he can't go down those stairs. Oh. I like that Pat just says it. Yeah, he he, he knows what's up. Oh, is he gonna have to make a confession? Oh, he knows him. He's gonna list off what he likes, what he smells like, smiles, mannerisms. Watch, he's gonna list off a lot of things. Yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah, I told you. That's how much he knows him. Yeah, he does like to smell him a lot. Oh, yeah, just give away his password. Just give away his password. Yeah. If that's his password, does that mean that technically Pran lost, but he hasn't vocalized it? So I feel like Pat's going to lose the bet. Yeah. Do you know if he confesses, then doesn't that mean Pran wins the bet? And we know Pran is sneaky and intelligent enough to maneuver it to get him to confess. Mm. This faculty. Confess. Because he had this plan, otherwise not everyone's in on it. And usually we don't see Pran like this. Like everyone knows, and 
he's quite a close person. Also, he knows how to stand to the challenge. Keep going. See, there we go, he said low. Is he waiting for the room? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't expect them to kiss in front of everyone. Pran's quite a shy person. Do you accept? Mm-hmm. Corn, maybe? Yep. Anyway. Is he playing hard to get? Yeah, you're gonna have to get over it, why? Oh, he's not going anywhere. Corn will be back. Corn oh, will be back. Uh, right. That appetite that you just took a big chunk from. <laughs> See, I knew he wasn't going anywhere. Corn's not going to go. He's going to flirt. Mm-hmm. This is their this is their love language, these two. Is he gonna open it for him, yeah? <laughs> yeah, this is literally yeah. yeah didn't work, see ya? Advertisement. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> See, look, they're flirting. This is how the boys in this show communicate. <sighs> Waiting for that, Sue. ไหนๆมึงก็เอาเพื่อนกูไปแล้วอ่ะกูว่าอะไรมั้ยถ้ากูจะขอ <laughs> Oh no she likes someone else แต่กูไม่ให้อ่ะเฮ้ยๆๆๆน้องกูกูเคลียร์เองเฮ้ยแต่ไอ้ไวมันจริงๆ yeah, no, <laughs> But I feel like he's, he likes it, but he's not that invested, I don't know. Good luck though, but she likes someone else, someone female. They're quite open, like they're at the hospital, you don't know if he, Pran's family would just appear out of nowhere. They all live literally next door to one another. No, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. He's flirting, he's getting better. He's acting not so much in this moment. Uh oh, wait, dude. Yep, I knew it. But I think he's known something has been awry for a while. So like, we'll see. He looks like he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, he doesn't really care. Let's see how close they would have been they could have been found out from the parents. Oh, no, he's not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, his dimples, yeah. But his pet doesn't hide it. 
This is a hint for Shadowrun. Yeah, how could he be the cause? Oh. So here comes the lies. See, now he's figuring out all these lies. See, you have been fed misinformation. He, he, needed, he needed the security. The money, yeah. They're figuring things out. This is to see he's honest with them. See, they've been fed lies to make them not like one another, and it's taken till now. See? Yeah. So they just lied to you. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not just business, it's personal. What did Pat's father do? Because the Pran's mother's been hinting before at something. And the father looked guilty, like Pat's father looked guilty in that moment. But this is a lot of foreshadowing. It's a lot of foreshadowing for the parents in the other parts of this episode. But at least they now know things that they were told were not correct. And that their families have intentionally not been telling them the truth. Right, sure, okay. <laughs> okay. At this moment, she's generally trying to show her touch hands. But she is right now trying to show her how to do this. I don't think you should, this is the moment you're trying to get these signs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one else there. Who else was going to be her model? Here we go. Touch. It's true. For a lot of people, it's really hard to line with your eyes. And Ink always has a smile in her eyes when she's with Pa. <laughs> Ink's face, she does not like you. Being disrupted by you? If looks could kill, he'd be six feet under. No. He has no game. The looks you. Ah, uh, that's why. Right. Just ignore him. Yeah, but she's not interested at all. But he, she is right trying to pick up the signs. He's given all the signs. It's like a little kid, look at him. I wonder if it's because he doesn't tend to really like many people, so when he does like someone, he gets a bit over the top. Yeah. 
He has no game. Not gonna be you. She's very protective. At least Prance said it out. Yes, you are hitting on her. เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพวกพี่ต้องมีธุระต้องทําต่ออ่ะเดี๋ยวไปก่อนนะเออแล้วก็ถ้าหลังรู้เสร็จบอกพวกพี่ด้วยนะ
layer to his character that they incorporate, which is he just knows every detail of Pran. Something that I know they've been dating for a little bit now, but you know, something that you wouldn't expect him to truly know because of how he just kind of is. And he just knows every look. And Pran, I think, is sure because Pran considered himself, I think, quite closed. And I think he is like that, but he's clearly very easy to read for Pat. And that's because Pat has always been watching him. No, you weren't. You were checking him out. <laughs> Just doesn't want to confess. Are we getting... We're getting a mini Pat and Pran here. Here we are. Yeah, we're getting a mini Pat and Pran here. Yeah, they argue like them too. Was he? It's just they lag one another. Oh, you're such a liar. Such a liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get yourself a drink too. Of course, you gave them money. I wouldn't even come back for stuff for you. It genuinely feels like people I used to live with, they used to look, like create their own songs, the process. Yeah, well, I, you, know, you liked him first. Don't act as if it was the other way around. Hold on, where's their drinks? Hmm. Out of the clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> ติษยาหรอติษยาที่หน้าแขกๆอ่ะเหรอเออใช่ครับอือจําได้เดี๋ยวนะครับแน่ใจเหรอครับผู้หญิงก็ทรงๆนั้นเยอะแยะนะครับ
ได้ทุนไปเรียนต่อมหาลัยส่วนโอเค it spoke about their education did something transpire between them because he said scholarship okay just just a wild guess here did did Pat's father win or take the scholarship uh, the scholarship from Pran's mother and is that why she's so hurt um because maybe that was her out that I don't know. It feels like because he got the scholarship, maybe she was also vying for it, and he got it. Mm. And the word cheater has been used before. It's got to be to do with that scholarship. It's got to be about education and taking something away from someone. Yeah. <laughs> No, let her go first. I like you. Oh, okay, I like you. Yeah. Why not? I mean, this show has established that no one cares about the gender of someone. ใครอ่ะเฮียรู้จักปะเยสอืมแต่ชื่อเดกิวิวคลูวันชีสบีนรีดควายเอ็ดอิทส์คลีเอ็นค์อ่าเอาลูกไปดูเองแล้วกันอ
่อยทีตัวนี้ d e v e l o p e r Developer. 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 Stopper Stopper Fixer Fixer <laughs> Oh, she she doesn't have to communicate right in this moment. No. She just. Yeah. She's misunderstanding the situation. I think their iron's not valid. But you are. This is the thing you weren't reading the signals wrong. But I like you. Oh, look, she's, she's smiling. Yeah, she's... See? She wanted to be your mentor. I was hoping that he might have said, "Yeah, here we go." Yeah, I mean, how you weren't to know because she's part of the pretty girl. It's gonna be a picture of her. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> do we just appreciate how healthy these two are? Like in what they want? Like they just seem such genuinely lovely people. Oh, there we go. There's your. That's your answer. There we go. They just seem so sweet. There we go. And she's very, <laughs> she's very protective of Pa. But they're together. Look, they've been really coupley. Oh, they're very close. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Well, when two men like one another in more than a friendship, something builds. It's called a relationship. Lovers. Huh? Uh, like you're lying to him. Hypocrite. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh. Yeah, don't be aggressive like that. Oh, hell no. Yeah, you don't get to do that. Uh oh, in front of everyone? Guess maybe he feels safer. 
ผมก็มันเป็นแฟนกันอ่ะ You do realize now about his mother as well, but at least we're gonna find out the truth, I'm sure. No, no, the story you made up. Yeah, this spot was way too aggressive. Hands on the hips, even during an argument. He doesn't want any conflict. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't want him to have anything. You can tell Pran is very upset and distraught in this moment, and it's not just about that. It's it's about his family finding out too, but he also doesn't want. Clearly, he doesn't want Pat and his father to be at loggerheads. To have a fallout conflict, and he's he look he's reverted back. Do you remember how he was so out of his shell these last few episodes? He's been so happy. He's been free. He's not been caged, and we're seeing him close up again. We're seeing him cave into himself. His head's down. He's probably a little bit hunched. He he's more softly spoken, and he knows what's to come. But he also doesn't want any bad blood. You can see he's such a kind person, but we've now just seen Pran really close back up. The fact that he wants him to go to his dad. Yeah, he's angry. Pat is so attentive to Pran, and Pran sometimes doesn't know how to deal with that, especially because see, because naturally he is a very To himself, person, and especially with what his mother did, and him being sent away. I'm glad it didn't go any further than that, and it does show just the natural side to you know a parent. Like in that sense, the father was just—he wasn't trying to hurt Pran, but he still did. But he's also been lying. The fact that he won't admit the truth to his son. You heard him. Uh huh. Yes, you did. Yes, it. The school. He's right. I'm sure it, it wasn't that they went out. Now, yeah, he's now got to deal with his mother. Oh, he's a nice guy. See, he's trying to protect him. Both, both the main leads acting, by the way, is the little subtleness of what they go through. Oh, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Because everyone can hear. I'm sure he's gonna say that their boyfriends too. One of them. Well, two of them. I want to hold. Yeah. Well, more than that. Where is the the father? Probably. Mm, I don't know. Oh, look at his face. He started to become angry. Mixed in with. Don't be a fan again. เฮ้ยปานมันเป็นไปได้ยังไงอ่ะไม่เอาแม่ไม่ทุกคนอยากรู้ความจริงไม่ใช่หรอเยอะแล้วทําไมพอทุกคนรู้ความจริงอ่
แล้วปานรู้แล้วทำไมปานถึงยังทำปานเห็นกันหน้าแม่บ้างไหมแม่ It's more to it. She seems so hurt. What actually happened? แม่เคยคบกันเคยทะเลาะกันอ่ะมันใช่หน้าที่ปานปะที่ปานจะต้องมารับผิดชอบ He's right. He's not responsible for your feelings. ปาน See, they didn't date. They didn't date. To do that scholarship. It's that scholarship. Both the parents are putting their trauma on their kids. You can't do that because it will mess them up. Ouch. I wonder if he's also been very lonely as a kid growing up. I feel like the actress really didn't want to slap him. A really good scene. Can we talk about the pan? Can we talk about the pan? Why? Why can't we come here? Can we talk about the pan? 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 Yeah, since she always throws this. He took her opportunity, didn't he? ป้าของแกไม่แย่งคุณกับฉันไปจนทำให้ฉันยังไม่ได้เรียนต่อมหาลัยเฮ้ยแกคิดว่าฉันไม่รู้หรอครูแดงของเขาเล่าให้ฉ
และแกรู้ปะว่าสิ่งที่ฉันเจ็บใจที่สุดคืออะไร He didn't tell you the truth คือการที่แกมาเปิดร้านต่อจากป้าแกถ้าแกคิดจะเอาแกเนี้ยแกจะมาแย่งทุนฉันทำไมวะ That's true if you only the family business why did you take the scholarship if you didn't yeah She's right. If you really wanted to do the, the family business, that's still his father, though. Because of your father's mistake. And he could have had a best friend growing up. Look how hurt he is. Owen Blackton really has improved. I know I thought he was good before. I've always said, when I've since watching, he's coming to me that Owen is really good at dramatic moments like this, like sad scenes like this. He just looks so defeated. Like he could have had such a good friendship with the kid next door, with Pran. Instead, it was taken away from him. I mean, parents do. But he could have changed all of that as they got older. I don't know. He took the scholarship. She is right. We always have something we want to go back and fix. It's true. But he, yeah, he shouldn't take on. The mistakes of his father. Oh, this is really complex. So many layers. What I'm really happy about is I don't so far see a breakup with them, which is nice. We're not getting that. Instead, we've got this conflict, but it's a different form. Usually, they break up around this point. His hair is windy. One thing they're gonna have is each other. p r a n i s more expressive than he's crying. Pat is more silent, more trying to keep the strength for the two of them. It's just so interesting because they're usually the opposite. You know, Pat's more overt, over the top. p a n s more reserved. You can feel the hurt. I usually talk about Nanon's acting more. I own to me really Sean, and especially in this moment, that the, the varying ways in which they're showing hurt, grief. This must have been a quite a, a draining scene to do. Crying is always really hard because they want you to do it like that. I never watch the up next parts so that I'm always surprised for what's to come. I felt it kind of just felt like a regular episode for the first three parts mainly. You know, we obviously found out bits of information, but that last part. Incredibly strong. It's the big revelation that we've all been waiting for. Whew. So, I'll go back to the beginning where, you know, <laughs> there's the confession from Pat to p r a n t So I would technically say, seen as verbally, orally, um, Pat said it. That means he technically lost the bet, but he could try and. Switch it around because he spoke about p r a n s password, but it was that all the architecture students were in on it. <laughs> you know, they they had this plan, and also 
It's only when I like got to the end of the episode I realised how open Pran has become. Like there was no shyness to him when everyone knew they were together. And it's not about being fearful of just everyone around you, but it's being being comfortable enough to be open. And he being with Pat has let him open that door and we've seen him just flourish and be comfortable in who he is and to able to express it something that he's always been too afraid to I've always worried about the mother finding out because of how much he loves his mother and also he was sent away before and then I don't know if he was the joke was supposed to be drunk or high, or it was just the comedic moments of it, but it was like much, if you look, you could see him almost fall down the stairs. And it was nicely done, actually. Uh, I noticed they've glossed over the why element, but it is their show, they're allowed to do what they want, and we can look at it from many standpoints, which is that they want to show that why actually isn't as bad as we think, or the fact that Pran forgave him. So if Pran forgives him, then he, that, that's what he does. Because don't forget, they, it's not like everyone truly forgave him 100%. That, like, Pat's still a bit wary of him. But now I'm with the Y and Corn moment. I felt like there was something significant when he sat down with the product placement drinks and offered it to him. I felt like that was supposed to be a moment, a callback. But I, I'm not sure. But... In that moment, there wasn't, I mean, they haven't really given us too much. I think a lot of us are just running wild with our imaginations because it probably would be funny to get Corn and Y together after everything that's happened. But we didn't really see that. We saw more bickering friendship. You know, that, of, like previous episode, I felt like Corn kind of said stuff. But we'll see what they do because now that Y is not chasing after Pa, <laughs> you know, he knows not to because of Ink's looks. She scowled. Maybe. Maybe, but we don't know. Maybe they'll just stay friends and they'll be cool. And that's how it would end for them. Uh, I really like the Pan Ink moments because it was just a nice reprieve. You know, we were getting that kind of end of their story or shall I say the beginning of their story. And it was nice to bring back the whole peer mentor thing and for Pa to remember what her friend said. And then they're together. They got together. It was like, really sweet. It was nice to see. It's really refreshing to see such healthy female characters in these shows because they've wiped away that whole oh we'll use the woman as the, the foil or the villain instead what we've had is you know, no real drama about the women they've had their own storyline which has been very good and technically we don't need another pairing but we'll see you never know with this show who might just end up together and then the, the slow revelation about the parents knowing one another and the fact that they thought it was the two dads which is always interesting because the ones that have had the most conflict like the brand's father is really quiet <laughs> like he's probably just at the gym whereas it's always been the mother and pad's father that have had have been at loggerheads but then the revelation they were friends it's as it went along there were so many theories that you could think about it was more when they spoke about scholarship that it made me take a step back or at least into my mind and think and I was like okay the word cheat had been used before a scholarship is here she implied and she implies things throughout the show and the far and Pat's father never says anything back like that and then when she came in and he <laughs> he took her scholarship like, he didn't deny that and I know we could talk about the pressure of the grandfather and it is true we we know that from our parents and our grandparents and things like that that pressure that we want to make them proud of us we that becomes a vicious cycle but she said you took my whole future and we don't know what it would be like for a woman in thailand in the 90s for their education and to get a scholarship a scholarship's a really important thing not everyone can get them some people solely rely on them and then she's really quick when she said but then you went to the family business so why did, I know he took the, he took the scholarship to make his father proud, but you you didn't do anything with it, like because he took over the family business. So in the end, she could have used that scholarship. Her life could have been very different. We don't know, but it's the fact that that opportunity was taken away, 
and it's it's hurtful because everyone's finding out the truth and the father's not denying it and then pat ohms act him pat just being so sad to know that the person he loves the person he could have been friends with all these years and had a great friendship and you know just really had a happy childhood instead of one that's full of conflict and always competition it, it was all down to that and, the, and it's the fact that they lied and then they act as the parents act like they didn't hide the truth and you've made your children compete and supposedly just they did dislike each other at points um it's kind of hard to swallow because an image of your parent then gets broken you know and it's clear that they love their parents I mean, look how like how close Pat's family is, and Pran's family may be quiet, but they're close too in their own way. But it's hard on them. And then we have the rooftop where something significant always happens. In this case, watching Pran break down, because like I said, he he became so reserved again, so inside of himself, because he never wanted to disappoint he, his family, just like Pat doesn't. And having the silent tears from Pat being the stronghold of the two to support Pran. And it's very interesting because, as I said, their personalities are very different. You know, Pat's the extrovert, Pran's the introvert. But during moments and grief and stuff like that, they switch. And I don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to resolve this. But what I was happy was we didn't get a breakup moment. Instead, it was still them two together supporting one another and it's I guess how they deal with it with their families it's got to be kind of a come together where fine that they hash it out but they have to understand that their kids want to be together and you can't stop them and they can still achieve things I thought it was part four for me was very very strong the episode in general was strong you know the first three parts just followed the general rules that have come with the episodes before part four was super strong because it was that big revelation and i genuinely thought we were going to get the revelation at the end part of part three and then they were going to show us something with part four but very well done very well acted it now makes you understand the parents better but does not mean that their trauma should be have been relayed onto their children instead you kind of took away a little bit of their innocence because they always had to compete and not like one another and so that builds animosity and they didn't understand and then they're finding out the truth and we'll see what they do maybe they'll run away together maybe they maybe they'll go somewhere significant for them thank you for watching